Hello friends, what's up? It's Kelly and welcome back to the vlog channel. Today I am doing a video that I have actually been kind of dreading doing for a while now. I don't know if you remember because it was a very long time ago, but I think it was like last year that I went through a mini phase of being like, oh, I'm gonna do a ton of cleaning. I'm gonna vlog it all and it's gonna be amazing. I did a couple of cleaning videos and then I didn't finish that and everything just continued to pile up. I was planning on decluttering my eyeshadows. I never ended up doing that. It has finally gotten to a point where I just have too many eyeshadow palettes. I can't close my drawers. I don't use the majority of them as of right now because I can't even reach into my drawers and get them. So today's finally the day. We are just going to go ahead and declutter. Basically the plan is I am going to set up three piles for myself. I'm going to have a keep pile, a donate pile. I found two places online that accept makeup. One of them is called Give and Makeup. It's a charity that supports women and children who've been victims of domestic violence. So that is in London. And then the second one is Project Beauty Share. So it is an organization that serves women and families overcoming abuse, addiction, homelessness, and poverty, and they accept lightly used products. And that one's in Washington. So that's in the US. So that's going to be my second pile. And then my third pile is going to be things to throw away because I have some old eyeshadow palettes that I have just not thrown out. And I really should have thrown them out a while ago, but I've just been holding on to them and I need to just start letting things go. So hopefully this is the first in a series of actually revitalizing my declutter vibes and mood because I really need to go through and get rid of a lot of stuff. So we're finally going to do it with the eyeshadows. Now I have a lot of eyeshadows. I don't know exactly how many, but it's definitely in the hundreds. I know I have a little bit of a problem. I do get some in PR, but I also buy a lot. I haven't in a really long time though. So that's that's a good thing. But yeah, I just need to really start decluttering a lot of things. I've just been holding on to things and just kind of like waiting for the right moment to throw them out. And there's just never going to be like an ideal moment where I finally have this like, ah, uh, and realize that it's time to throw something out. So I just need to be proactive. I just need to throw it out. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take all of my eyeshadow palettes out of the drawers. I have a bunch of them also over here on my computer and it is really hard to access my computer because I have so much makeup over here but at least I can get rid of the eyeshadow palettes hopefully have few enough that I can put them all in my drawers and then maybe I'll be inspired and I'll want to do some more cleaning <laughs> so yeah let me set up the camera a little bit nicer I'm gonna put on my lights so you can see the eyeshadow palettes a little bit better and then I will start taking all my eyeshadows out and we can get started Okay, we've got our work cut out for us today. I don't know if you can even still hear me. By the way, I did get a new microphone. I realized my sound quality was not good in my last couple of vlogs. So I bought a little microphone for this camera. Definitely let me know if it's better. Just to give you a better idea of what we're working with here. This is already entirely overwhelming. I kind of want to count them, but this is like not organized at all. So maybe step one is like putting them in some kind of order, like all of my ColourPop nine pan palettes. Maybe I just like put those together and then like my 12 pans. Ugh, oh, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Why did I let this go for so long? This is crazy. I just counted, I have 112 palettes. 
which is actually a little bit less than I thought I had. So I'm a little pleased about that. I thought I was definitely in the 200s. This looks like so many, it's actually wild. I was telling myself I need to have less than 100, but that's a lot easier of a task than I originally thought it would be. So I guess we'll just get started. I don't know what the plan is, but there are some that I immediately see and I'm like, I don't want to keep these. There are some I immediately see and I do want to keep. You know what? We'll, we'll start by getting rid of one. This is the ColourPop Roaring Hearts. This is what that looks like. And I've only actually used this once and I was not able to get a lot of color onto my brush. This one is just barely used. So this is going in the donate pile. Where does the donate pile want to live? <gasps> Wait, I found another palette over here. 113. This is the donate pile. We're putting it back here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the beginning of the donate pile. Very happy to have started this. As far as keep the two What's Up Beauty palettes, I'm absolutely keeping. I love both of these. This is the Monsoon palette and this is the Geode palette. And I have especially been wearing the Geode palette a lot. I didn't realize that I actually have four ABH palettes. So I have the Soft Glam, which you can see probably by how dirty it is. It is very well loved. This is my go-to palette. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Look at how rough this is. This is dirty, but I absolutely love it. I also have the Norvina palette, which honestly, now that I'm opening it, I do remember that I owned it. I was just going to say, I don't even remember ever using this, but I definitely have. And it's actually really cute. I do love these palettes and I love the quality of the eyeshadow. This is like sun damage. The subculture palette. I really tried to make this work the last time. Well, actually, I think it was two times ago that I did an eyeshadow declutter. I was like, I'm going to keep this. I can make it work. Actually, now I'm looking looking at it, I'm like, I can make this work. This is a maybe. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. I don't know where the maybe pile should live. The maybe pile is going on the floor. And then the last ABH one I have is Modern Renaissance. Definitely keeping this one as well. It's just really beautiful. I have three Urban Decay Naked palettes. The Ultraviolet palette. Wow, I've barely touched this. Wait, now that I'm looking at this, I don't think I have used this once. This looks brand new to me. I don't think I've used this at all. Yeah, I literally do not see one mark in here. That doesn't make any sense. Have I never used this? Okay, well, I definitely have to keep it because I want to use it. This is the Naked Smoky. This is like the first high-end eyeshadow palette that I bought. At this point, this is so incredibly old. I bought this before I moved to Georgia, I'm pretty sure. Like, this was, this was like the first fancy eyeshadow palette I owned. Like, they say eyeshadow goes bad, but then other people are like, well, it doesn't go bad. You can use it forever. But this is old. This is really old. I think I'm just going to toss this on and the toss pile is also going on the floor. And then I also have the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, which I have barely used, but I really want to. I think these colors are gorgeous, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. My mom got me this one as a gift, and I think it's really pretty. I feel like I haven't gotten enough use out of it because I really only used it when I had green hair. These are really pretty too, and there's a black in here, which I feel like that's huge. I feel like I always need a black, so if there's a palette that has it. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is very pretty. And then I have another Melt Cosmetics. This is the Impulsive palette. I bought this for my birthday, I think in 2019. And I love this. It's a little dirty, but I'm going to keep it. Oh, I have another Melt Cosmetics. This is actually another gift from my mom. I think this was a different birthday gift. This is the Radioactive palette. That is very cute. Ooh, I'm keeping this. This is the Carity Picante palette. But some of these eyeshadows are looking a little bit lumpy. I don't know if this is quality enough to donate. I would keep it. It's pretty. It's just like, it's kind of lumpy. This is going in the maybe. This is the Dream Palette by Sigma. This one is not being kept. I've only used it a few times. It's very gently used, I think. It's just the problem is this is another one that does not last a long enough time on me. So I want to get rid of this one. I'm going to donate it because I've only used a certain amount of colors. Some of these aren't ever even touched and some of them are. I think this is nice enough to give away. So I'm going to give it Way. The BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I loved this. I loved the rainbow of it, but it was honestly not good quality at all. Let me see if this is... I feel like this is fine enough to donate, right? I feel like it's barely touched. There's only one that I would be a little iffy on. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's this blue up here. I think I'm gonna try to donate this one as well. I, I think this looks pretty much fine. There's just that one color that's been used a decent amount. I'm gonna donate this one. Okay, then we have the Ditto Cosmetics Galaxy Shade Palette. I wanted this so badly because it is space colors and it's like little planets, which I think is incredibly fun. This camera is focusing so hard on my face that even when I go like this, it's focusing on my eyes up here. This is what the palette looks like. I don't want to keep it but I have to because it's so pretty so I can't get rid of it I can't get rid of it I gotta keep it I gotta keep it oh my gosh this is another BH Cosmetics the solar flare I was so excited about this one but literally I have not used this probably since 2017 so maybe 2018 and it, it honestly looks barely touched I think I've used this like three times there's a little fuzz over here it's not in the eyeshadow it's just on top of it I'm gonna donate this this is the ColourPop avatar I have not touched this once honestly a part of me thinks this is too stunning to ever use and I love Avatar The Last Airbender. I know I have to use it eventually because it's very pretty. I'm gonna keep it obviously and I'm gonna eventually use it but not today. The Neon Palette by Ditto Cosmetics. Mmm I love this one. It stains my eyes all the time but I still love it so I'm gonna keep it. I feel like I should get rid of this one too. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. I think these ones are so pretty but I literally never reach for this palette but maybe I should. I don't know. This is a maybe. Let's make this a maybe. Am I taking too long to do this. This is going to be a whole day's event. Let's do this mini one. I don't even remember what this is. Bizart? Viziart? I don't know what this is at all. It's just like a little mini eyeshadow palette that has never been touched. There's even still the little wrapping on the mirror. So I don't even know what this is from, why I have it. Maybe it was like a little sample I got. This is getting donated. I have three eyeshadow palettes from Alter Ego. This is Aurora. I don't know. Let me look at the other two. Okay, this is Sahara. Oh, I used this one a lot. I don't remember this one though. How weird is that? And then this is Goddess, which I do remember this one. It's gorgeous. Ooh, this is tough. I think I want to keep the Goddess one. Don't think I'm going to keep the Sahara one because I think this is a little basic. It's not too used, but like it's dirty. So I feel like that's not great. Maybe you can try to clean it and then if it looks okay I can donate it and if not I'll just toss it. Yeah I think I'm gonna keep Goddess and the Aurora ones and then I will get rid of the Sahara one. I, I feel like I'm doing so well with this. Two palettes from Deck of Scarlet. This is the number nine. I loved how convenient these were. So there's there's like a highlight and a blush in here and then there's three eyeshadows and this is two lip colors. Oh I really loved this eyeshadow Supernova but I feel like I have so many that look like it. And this is number eight. I loved this one too. Again, same thing. It's got the two face products, the two lip products, and the three colors. I think I'm just going to get rid of both of these. Let me see. I don't think I can donate these because there's used lip products in here. I think I'm going to get rid of both of them. Maybe I'll see if one of my friends wants it. Okay, this one is PYT Beauty. I remember I got this. Yeah, there's literally a little thing in it still. I touched two of them. I got it at an event. It's just not really my color scheme. Like, this is way too soft for me. Maybe I'll ask my sister in law if she wants this and if she does not then I will donate it. This is Coastal Sense and I thought this was really fun but this one it never had the best quality. It was a really cute color scheme. I think I'm going to just get rid of it. Maybe I'll clean it because the eyeshadows aren't that used. It's just a little dusty. This one is the Ocean Awakening eyeshadow palette by IBY Beauty and this one I have barely touched. I believe I also got this at an event and I just don't think these colors are for me. I don't love the color story. I think the reason that I'm such a a huge palette person is because I love having one eyeshadow palette with all the colors that I want for a particular eye makeup look and I just don't think this is the colors for me so I think I'm going to donate this it's barely touched honestly it looks like I've used two colors in here before oh three I'm feeling good I'm feeling good oh I have another alter ego palette this one's called daydream we have a lot of really pretty colors in here like these very warm tones and then we have a lot of nice shimmers in here as well I remember this having a ton of fallout and really not being great so I might just oh there's a little concealer in here too and it's super dirty I think this might be a little too not great to donate so I think I'm gonna toss this one Okay, then we have the Coastal Scents Revealed Rouge palette. This is actually a really great travel palette because I feel like there's a lot of color options in here and it kind of looks like a, a naked dupe. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is just like a good palette to travel with. This is the ColourPop Dream Street palette. Very well loved. Definitely going to keep. I literally just used this like a week ago. Can't get enough of it. That blue is just perfection. I don't know. I love it. Okay, this is another BH Cosmetics one that I used like twice and I was so unimpressed by. 
eye. So it has a mirror and then it has a face section and then it has eyeshadows. And I just felt like this didn't last on my face for long enough. So I didn't really use this more than a couple of times. I definitely use the shade Spice a lot or maybe I just dug in really deep into this palette. I don't know, I'm gonna try to clean this up and see if it's worth donating, but I might just have to toss it because I really dug into that one color. This is the ColourPop Rendezvous palette. I love this one. It is a little dirty. Oh look, you can see the reflection of the camera in there. But yeah, I think this one looks great. I'm gonna keep it. I love that blue in here as well. This is just a really pretty color story and there's a black in here, so. This is another one that I got at an event. It's called Doucet. I have never touched this ever. It was like a make your own palette. I remember now it was at a might have been at Ipsy But I literally never used this pretty sure this is a highlight these two are blushes and then these four are eyeshadows I don't know why I picked these these colors don't go well together and it doesn't look nice So I'm gonna donate this What memories. This is the NYX love contours all look at how dirty this is This was like my first first eyeshadow palette when you guys see what this looks like. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is what I used to use for everything. Like literally my brows, my contour, my blush, my highlight, everything in here. This is, this, this color is like completely gone. This, there's like one color in here that's completely gone. There's two that are almost gone. I touched pan on a lot of these. I'm tossing this, this is kind of gross. It's also weirdly sticky. I don't know why. Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Let's see. I feel like I barely use this. These were so pretty, but like there's so much fallout. Honestly, I don't even know if this is worth keeping because now I have a lot of super shock shadows that I just feel like I can get the same amount out of and it's not as bulky of packaging. Oh man, that color galaxy is so pretty. Maybe I keep it, see if I use it for any length of time. And if I don't, then I'll get rid of it next time. I have this one from the Balm. It's called Petal to the Metal. It's actually liquid eyeshadow so I don't think I can donate this but I didn't really enjoy it again I feel like it's the color story that just wasn't working for me and I'm not a huge cream eyeshadow person so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this okay this is a dupe palette that was like from a dollar store brand it's called the Ocalon eight color matte eyeshadow palette I actually remember so right here it says eight color I used to think it was called the sailor palette because that's kind of how it looks this is what it looks like on the inside I've had this since like 2014 or 2015 so I'm gonna just toss it. Okay we have another Carity palette. This is the Rosé All Day. I remember loving this palette. Look at how fun these pinks are. This is so fun. I don't know if I should keep this. Do I have any other pink ones like this? Maybe this should be a maybe. I'm gonna put this in the maybe because I like it but I don't know if I should really keep it. This is the Morphe 15H palette. I'm not gonna keep this. I don't like Morphe. I don't know why I have this. This is the MAC color library. Art library. This was another gift. I love this. I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna keep it. We have the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This one is incredibly old. <laughs> Look at how old this is. Wow. It still like has that tart smell, you know? I'm not gonna keep this. It's a very basic palette and it's super old. I just feel like I have newer ones that are not as old. And this is like several years old. This was again from before I moved to Georgia. So I'm gonna toss this one. Ooh, the ColourPop Limoncello. This is gorgeous. I love this. I think it's so cute. It's very summery and fun. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I don't think. I know I'm gonna keep it. And then we have the ColourPop Lust for dusk. See, I actually used this recently. I don't know if you can see it, but this one, there's like a little white fuzzy thing on this eyeshadow and it's been growing, which I'm pretty sure is mold. I love this palette. I barely have used it so far, but it's a little moldy. So I'm going to throw it out because that's dangerous. We have so much more to go still. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. I don't remember this one. Oh, this is pretty, but it's so basic. Is this good enough to donate? I feel like it probably is. I just feel like I can't really get a full color story out of this and it's almost the same colors as the Mac Art Library. You know what? Some of these colors are a little grimy looking, so maybe I'll just throw it out. I feel bad donating this. Should we move on to my nine pan palettes? Look at how many I have here. Most of these are ColourPop nine pan palettes. This is a lot. Okay, let's break out the, the Ditto Cosmetics ones first. I've got three, they're space themed, and we've got the Ego Earth, the Shiny Sun, 
and the Saturn. So I know there's one of these that I don't like. This is the Saturn, very basic. There's like a lot of really nice shimmers in here. Then we have the shiny sun. This one's cute as well on that one. But I have so many warm toned palettes. I don't know if I need this one. And then the Ego Earth. Oh, this is the one I didn't love because I just feel like this isn't a very cohesive color story here. It's not that used. It's it's pretty barely used. The only color I've used a few times is this yellow. So I think I'll donate this one. Maybe I'll just keep the Saturn one because it's like a nice basic neutrals palette. And then I'll get rid of the shiny sun. Yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'm gonna get rid of the sun one, but it's pretty well loved. So I think I'm gonna just toss this one and then keep this one. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with all of the ColourPop ones. I feel like I kinda wanna open all of them and see which ones I like and which ones I don't like and then kinda break it down from there. Is that possible? Can we do that? I don't know. Like, look at, these two are so similar. They're like the same color story, just in like different flavor, but I'm kind of probably gonna keep all of them. This one is old, very crusty. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. It's the NYX Ultimate. Honestly, might buy a new one of this, but this one is just so old and like I've had it for an incredibly long time and it's just, it's a little grimy looking. So I'm gonna toss that one. Like these, uh, these are all so similar. These are all so similar. Maybe I should get rid of this one. What is this? Making moves. Maybe I should get rid of that one. Cause I also have blush crush. It's just like a little too light and also basic at the same time. And I feel like I have these two palettes kind of cover the colors that I like. I, I like these color stories as a whole better, but this is very used. So I think I'm gonna toss this one. Ooh, should I toss it? Maybe I should keep it. No, I shouldn't. I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I keep this. Maybe I keep this. No, I'm not gonna keep this. I'm not gonna keep this. Oh, this one, I keep on meaning to give my sister-in-law and I still haven't. Literally my last video from like a couple of years ago, I was like, oh, I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law. It's the Pure Be Your Selfie palette. I'm gonna donate it. We'll see. This is the Makeup Geek. I don't even know what this is called. In the Nude palette. This is incredibly old. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's very, very grimy. Okay, let me show you all the ColourPop 9 pans that I'm saving because there's a lot of them and they're all very similar, but they're not quite the same. This is the That's Taupe, saving this. Very cute. Blush Crush, saving this. This is the Orchid You Not, gorgeous. The Wine and Only, also gorgeous perfect fall palette these are all great fall palettes too this is the ornate palette i've been wearing this one a lot recently as well we have the lucky penny also very cute very fall-esque big poppy which is another really fun one little ray of sunshine so cute perfect for summer i've got the star wars mandalorian this one the this eyeshadow fell out and fun fact it actually fell on the floor and i have a rolling chair here and i didn't know and i rolled over it and then I tried to get it out, but it has stained like permanently. So it's actually like a little brown stain and it does not look good. And I'm definitely not getting my deposit back because of that. And also because of a good amount of nail polish I was built on this carpet. <laughs> this is another Star Wars one. This is the Mandalorian. I have barely used this one so far, but I really enjoy the color scheme. I just haven't had a chance to use it that much yet. I also have the Just My Luck palette. I really haven't been using this as often, but I just don't think anything compares to that middle green color. I think it's very pretty and sometimes I just need that exact color. Then I have the Blue Moon palette. I was literally just saying I don't think I love this one, but it's actually stunning. So I don't know why I would ever think that. The Smoke Show palette. Oh, this one's dusty. I think they actually changed the name of this one as well. Maybe for copyright reasons, but I'm gonna keep it. And then I have this Glow Getter. I haven't really been using this one that much because I've used it a couple of times and it just doesn't stay on my eyes very well, but I'm gonna give it another chance. And then this isn't a nine palette. I don't know why I have it here organized with my others, but this is the Wild Nothings palette. I was gonna get rid of this because it's so light, but there are a couple of really beautiful duo chromy shimmers in here, and I think I just kind of want to keep it. So that's all these. Look at this like rainbow. Then we have a couple of other small ones. This is the Brick Fun palette from, oh, Brick Fun Owl palette, very strange name, from Ditto Cosmetics. And it's just a bunch of nice metallic colors. You can't, well, I, I don't know, maybe somebody can. I can't come up with a complete look using this, but sometimes if I just need one metallic color and I'm looking for a very specific shade, this is the palette that I reach for, so I am gonna keep this. This one was another one that I loved for a really long time. This is the Match Maker by The Bomb. Look at how well-loved this is. Brings me back. It's like so crusty and dry 
dry it out now. Like, do you ever just use an eyeshadow so long that like there's like almost like a film over it and it's just kind of gross? That is what this palette is. I'm pretty sure HB Beauty Bar sells this, so I might actually buy another one, but I'm gonna toss this one. I mean, I'm tossing a lot. This is a pile I'm very nervous about because these are all huge palettes and I genuinely have been moving away from huge palettes because I used to think they were so convenient, but now I'm like, I hate huge palettes. But I do have three more from Ditto Cosmetics that I'm probably gonna keep. I have the Aphrodite one and it looks like this. I just think there's some fun colors in these three, so I think I'm probably gonna keep them for now just because sometimes I'm like, oh, I need this very specific color and I know it's in these palettes. This is the Hera. It's not really like fully cohesive looks, at least the way it's organized. I can't really figure out great looks for it. And then this is the Athena palette. This one's my least favorite, but again, there's just like some random colors in here that I'm like, what if I need that one color? Cause I just think they're pretty unique. There's like a lot of chartreuse kind of colors in here. Honestly, maybe I should try them a little bit more now that I have a neutral hair color. I can really experiment a little bit more. This one I'm definitely getting rid of. This is old. I haven't used this since I did like my declutter in like 2017. This is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I had so much love for this palette, but it is so cumbersome. It's like huge. It doesn't even open all the way. But yeah, this is old. It is well loved and I'm gonna get rid of it. This was a palette that I made with the ColourPop like Z palette thing and it's all magnetic. I hate this palette, honestly. I I loved it when I first made it and I used it literally all the time and now I feel like I can't get rid of it because there's so many eyeshadows in here that I haven't used but got pretty chalky over time and also I don't know why I got all of these glitters because I never used them. This one looks moldy. I haven't touched this in a really long time honestly. I think I'm just gonna toss it. It's just it's I need to toss it. I'm sorry. Oh I remember loving this one. This is the So Jaded palette by Colourpop. Oh look at this. I love this. I am gonna keep it I think because this was just a gorgeous gorgeous color story. I loved the color scheme. I love everything about this palette except for that there's two glitters which I don't really like to use on my eyes but like these were really stunning. This is another one I really liked. This is the C'est La Vie palette by Rude. Oh this is fun. Look at how rainbowy it is but when's the last time I used this? I don't even remember. Look at that purple. How am I supposed to say no to that? Hmm kind of old though. It's not that old. Maybe I keep it. This is the Colourpop Gone Matte. This is actually a relatively new one to my collection and I've been using it a lot recently. I'm definitely keeping this. It's just a really good like neutral palette to go to and then there's also like you can see there's kind of lines of different colors within the neutral family. So like these are all like the gray tones. These are like purpley ones. Then we've got some pinky ones. Then we got some neutrals and then we have some really warm tones. This has been very helpful. I'm keeping this. This is another one that I really want to keep. <laughs> I bought this on Amazon. I originally bought one of these to destroy to make nail polish out of and then I loved it so much that I bought one to keep for eyeshadows and I love this. It works really well and it's so inexpensive so I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna use it happily. So here's where I'm struggling because I feel like I've come up with so many great looks using this palette. This is the BH Zodiac palette, but like when is the last time I used this? It's been so long and I just don't see myself reaching for it. And like looking at it, it's really the purples that I love, but I have these purples right here that are almost the same by ColourPop. This is a ColourPop Cashmere Forever. We're gonna talk about that in a minute, don't worry. And then the BH Cosmetics Love Signs Zodiac palette. I barely use this because it just, I was really excited about it because I loved the original, but I just did not reach for this very often. This is barely used. I think I'm going to donate this one. Yeah, it just wasn't for me. You know, the color schemes just weren't for me. These two things, I used to love these and I don't even remember why because they're massive. This is just obnoxious. Like I was always like, this is, you can just travel with one eyeshadow palette. This is way too big to travel with. I don't know who I was fooling. And when was I traveling? These colors were so Stunning though. Absolutely gorgeous. I've made so many good eyeshadow looks with this, but I think it is time to retire it. And this one as well, the ultimate artistry. That was the ultimate matte. This is the ultimate artistry. I didn't even really love this color story. I don't know why I kept this for so long. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of both of these. These I'm keeping. This is the ones I just talked about. And then we have a bunch of small ones. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch. I have a few from Believe Beauty. I don't love these. I barely use them. I think I'm just gonna donate them. I I have the flush purples and into the blue. I just, I don't reach for these. It's not really enough for me to make a full look out of. Oh, the Milani one. I used to love this. I don't think I'm keeping this either. This is the must have naturals. That was a, that was a good little travel palette, but I think it's 
time to retire. This one I bought expecting to absolutely love it and I just didn't. This is a collaboration with Wiley. It's called Let's Talk Eyes and this is just way too light. I think I actually bought it at an event and my sister-in-law also bought one and she was like we should get them together but I just I never use this. I literally never use this so I'm donating it. I remember I bought this one. This is the City Mini Palette by Maybelline. It's called Urban Jungle. I bought it because it was like it looked kind of like a dupe a Matt Jacobs palette that I wanted so badly but then once I got this I realized I just never use these colors. This one's barely used. I think I'm going to donate it. Same with this one. This is the Graffiti Pop. I just don't think I'm going to use these. And they're barely used so they can go to a loving home. Oh man, this is the Glitterazzi Rock My World. It's all glitters and it's all wet, so there's no way I can donate this, but I'm literally never using glitters on my eyes again. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I have this Note eyeshadow palette in 103. I just don't see myself using this. I've maybe used it like once or twice. Oh, I remember loving this one too. This is the Femme Fatale Sex Bomb palette from NYX. This is just, kind of crusty. I'm not gonna be I was just gonna say I'm not gonna keep it. They all just fell out. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this this is going in the trash now. Well, it was going in the trash anyway, but now it's especially going in the trash. But luckily, another palette broke the fall. This is actually just like face paint. I'm gonna keep this. I don't really use it, but what if there's like a fun Halloween thing, you know? This is the CoverGirl True Naked Dazed Collection. Collection. It's an eyeshadow palette. I'm not gonna keep this either. It's too shimmery. Another Milani one that I'm getting rid of. This is the Bare Necessities. I have a bunch of Huda Beauty ones. Well, let's do this first. This is Pop Beauty. Again, I bought this. I had a very brief interest in wearing a lot of glitter on my eyes, but I very quickly realized that that is not for me. I never even use this. <gasps> Oh, what's going on on this one? Ew, one of these is oozing. I literally have never touched this palette. You can see this color is literally oozing. So I feel like I probably, oh, this one's oozing too. I'm gonna throw this out. I just don't think that's safe. This is the NYX Perfect Filter Gloomy Days palette. I get rid of this too because I have all these colors. I don't need another one of these. I have the Violet Voss HG Fun Sized palette. Oh, this is kind of old. I just really don't see myself reading for this ever again. The little color pots are so small and I just have all of these colors in other eyeshadows that I can make like a complete look out of, so I don't need this. I have a couple of Essence palettes that I've literally never used before. This one's called In Love with Rose. And then I have this one that's called Mermaid Eyeshadow Box. I've never used either of these. This is the Essence My Must Haves palette. I'm guessing this is a make your own, but I don't remember it. Can I donate this? I feel like I can donate this. This looks barely, well, I don't know. The plastic is all scratched up. I feel kind of guilty, so maybe I'll just just toss this one. And then I also have the Catrice Ultimate Chrome Eyeshadows. I don't remember buying this. If I did, I don't know what I was thinking because this is not for me. They're just all like the light duo chrome shimmers, but genuinely they all kind of look the same. I'm not gonna keep this. And then I have three Huda Beauty Obsessions. So I've got the Amethyst Obsessions, the Coral Obsessions, and the Mauve or Mauve Obsessions. My fingers are getting kind of gross. So these are these three. I feel like I should keep these because they're small, but I just, I know this Amethyst one, like nothing comes off onto the brush. This Mauve one is pretty, but I'm like, are they all gonna be like that? I don't know. Maybe I just keep the Mauve one. I'm just gonna keep the Mauve one I'm gonna donate these other two. That is very precariously perched. Okay, and then I have the Dose of Color Snow Angels palette, which I use this actually a decent amount. It's not available anymore, so I don't wanna get rid of it. And then I have the ColourPop Tender Loving Cancer, and I am a Cancer Zodiac sign, so I'm gonna keep this, because that's just cute. And then I have these five ColourPop, like single monochromatic color things. I'm gonna keep all of these because I use them pretty often. And that's everything. That that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be actually. That didn't even take that long. I have to go put these away now, but thanks for keeping me company while we did this. I think all of this is gonna fit. This stuff is actually, this is the donation pile. So I'm only keeping this, which does not seem like a lot. That's actually kind of crazy. That's weird. Ooh, I just realized that now I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna donate these ones. I'm gonna put in the description the places that I'm donating to. I think I'm just gonna donate to the US one because it'll be cheaper to ship. <laughs> I guess I'll show you guys 
what my makeup drawers look like when they're fully cleaned. I still have, I think the bottom two drawers I didn't clean on camera when I was first doing like my cleaning. And that's just like old like eyelashes and moisturizers and stuff. So maybe we'll go through that another day. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel, I feel pretty organized. I just remembered I also have this one. It was like on the ground over there because I was planning on getting rid of it. It's the Profusion Mean Girls palette. This does not open easily. I have barely used this. It's just not for me. I, I don't think the colors work very well for me and it is kind of glued together. So I'm going to donate this as well. I'll see you in the next vlog. Definitely subscribe because there's more stuff coming. The, the life updates just keep on coming. So stay tuned. I will see you all in the next video. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Am I stuck in a time machine? So